Recently, I had to create a distribution of our total sales across the weekdays for all our geographies. So I made this particular graph in Power BI. When I showed this to my client, they asked me if there is an easy way to highlight the best weekday for each particular geography, something like this. So today let's understand the necessary DAX that we can use to generate these kind of graphs. We can think of this DAX as best in category. So here I am highlighting the best value within across all the weekdays, but we could use this to highlight the best month in a year or best product within a category or anything like that. So best in category. And we can apply the same logic, but flip it to do worst in a category or the worst day in the week, etc. as well. So to start off, let me just show you our data model. It is a very simple table. Uh, I have got some simple data for awesome chocolates and a base measure called total amount. So the total amount is sum of data amount. Let's first create the original graph, which is uh, I'm going to use a column chart. And in this column chart, I'm going to put country into X axis and total amount into Y axis. So this is going to show me one column per country. What I want is actually see one column per day of week, but six different graphs, one for each country. So take the country and put it into small multiples instead. And then in the X axis, I'm going to add day of week so that we will get something like this. The default grid format for small multiples is two by two, but you can go here and small multiple and then just set it to three columns and that will show you everything. So this is the original graph. It shows me uh, across the day of week. So if we start from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this is how things are happening. But I want to know what is that highest value is. So within Australia, it would probably be Monday. Uh, for Canada, it will be Thursday. And again, India, it is Monday. To make it all simple and easy to understand in our mind, I'm going to turn this into a matrix format so we can see how our data is. Essentially, within Australia, I want to extract the 277,000. Within Canada, the highest value is 240,000. So that's what I want to get out. So here we can construct a, a new measure. Highest across the week. I'm going to call this as V2 because I already have a measure with that same name. And uh, the format that you can use is because we are looking for highest within a category. Essentially, the way we have to think our DAX here is we just need to first generate a table of all the days of week. And then for each day of week, calculate the total amount and then find the maximum within that. So to do all of this, we can do it in any number of ways. But uh, the format that I found easy to work with is the max x function. Uh, any function that has this kind of an x at the end, so sum x, min x, max x, etc. They're all called iterator functions. So what they will do is they will do the operation x on each row of the table that you specify. So for this max x, the table that I want to use is a table of my weekdays. So here we can use all selected day of week. And what this does is it will generate a table which has all the five days of week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. For all selected, calculate the total amount. And then so max x will generate a table for all the days of week, calculates the total amount for each of them. And then the front part of the max x, the max will then tell you what is the maximum of such values. So when you add this measure, you will have such a maximum value. Now let's add this to our table here. And here you can see that, for example, within Australia, this is how the individual weekday values are highest across the week. Whichever day I look, it is always 277,396. For Canada, the weekday values look like this and the highest across week is 240,000. 
So now that we have a measure to tell us what is the highest value across the week for each geography is, it will work for anything, not just geography. If you put this in the context of a product, it will tell you what is the highest for that product as well. So now that this value is there, we just need to kind of check against this versus that and uh, based on that change the color in the chart. So we'll switch back to the graphical format here and, and we will have something like this. So here I'm using both measures, my total amount and highest across week. And you can see that highest across week is constant throughout the week because that's the highest value. Now, instead of showing two columns, what I want is the column here should change color. So we'll take out that, we'll go back to the original thing, but now we have a measure. We can then create a new measure that generates the color that we want to use. So we'll call this as highest across the week color V2. And again, this is if my total amount is equal to highest across the week V2, then I want the highlight color. Now, when you are generating these colors, you can just type the hex code or the RGB code for the color. Uh, if you're not sure how to generate the hex code, you can use another software like PowerPoint or something to generate the colors and then bring them here. I'm just gonna use a color like, um, let's just go with CH2222. This is my brand color. Uh, so if it is highest, then I want that color. If it is not highest, I want it to be the same color, but a dull shade. One way to do this is we can copy this whole thing and in the end, add a number like 33. So if I put an eight digit hex code, the last two digits tell you how transparent it should be. If it goes to FF, then it is 100% transparent or 100% visible. Uh, 33 is like, 25% of transparency or something like that. Yeah. So once we have this, then we select the visual here, go to format and go to columns. The color is always this greenish color. Instead, I'm going to apply a conditional formatting. And here the format will be based on the field value, which generates the color. The field value will then be color v2 so here i'll have the highest value highlighted in that red color and the other values are the same color but transparent so they are only 25 percent visible so this is the basic trick that you can use to generate highest across a category and then bring that into the visuals to highlight the highest value oh that reminds me if you think this is the best in category of the tax tips do give it a like and if you want to learn a little bit more DAX, check out the videos that show up on the screen. I'll catch you there. Bye.